The goal of this demonstration is to demonstrate or underline the importance of properly setting the carbon brushes on the DEC machine. Improperly set brushes will actually rob the machine of the power it could potentially produce or in terms of if it was running as a motor, the amount of torque it can produce. Now, I don't advocate what I'm about to do for students or people at home because I'm a, I'm a trained electrician. I've done this many of times, but I'm not advocating that people try this at home. So one thing I'm going to do is I am going to roll up my shirt sleeve because I'm going to be reaching in here while the machine is in operation and I'm going to remove any loose fitting equipment. Um, I'm not wearing rings nor am I wearing a watch. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set this up as a generator and based off of the speed of this machine this generator is supposed to be generating about 120 volts. Now let's have a look at this. I'm going to turn on the power supply. Now we can see that there is an output voltage and it's about 80 volts. This is a little bit shy of the 120. Now I'm going to open up the enclosure And I'm going to adjust the yoke and readjust the brushes. Now, being careful of the spinning pulley, let's have a look at their voltage. As I adjust it, this is turning in the clockwise rotation, so I'm going to adjust it clockwise. And we can see that as I move the brushes, my voltage is increasing to about 120. Another benefit to setting the brushes is that we can eliminate some of the arcing and sparking that we can see in the video. By setting the brushes to the neutral point, we're virtually eliminating any excess induced voltage and you get better commutation. Now, what if I was to continue adjusting the yoke and push it past the neutral plane? What we would see is that the voltage is actually going to go down now. So as I continue to move it past, you can actually see the voltage is starting to fall off. So it's really important that we adjust the brushes on our DC machine. If it's operating as a generator, it's not going to produce the voltage it should. If it's running as a motor, you're not going to get the torque or the speed that you would expect out of it. Now, this is a really important part. Uh, hopefully, I've been able to properly show people the importance that the brushes on this type of machine has to be set properly and it should never be taken for granted. Also, that the neutral plane does shift based off of direction of rotation. Right now, this squirrel cage induction motor was turning in a clockwise rotation. And as such, I was actually shifting the brushes clockwise. If I was running this in the counterclockwise rotation, that would mean I would have to start adjusting the brushes counterclockwise because the neutral plane is going to shift with the direction of rotation. So that's something to bear in mind the next time you're doing any kind of work with a DC machine. Thanks for watching.